Over the years, a number of mid-sized companies in Uganda have participated in the SAVI, which always culminates into an award-giving ceremony. The highlight this year, however, is the fact that several participating firms have since expanded into large entities anchored on the skills thumbed down through the survey and sharing of peer-to-peer -peer experiences through the survey's platform. Our upper threshold is 25 billion Uganda shillings. We have seen companies who have gone beyond that level. And tonight we are going to graduate some members who have gone beyond that level and you are going to see them tonight. That's the kind of growth we have seen. We have seen companies who have improved in their financial system, in their IT system, bookkeeping, tax records. Such growth for medium-sized companies and by extension SMEs in general is however according to experts coming on the back of several challenges players have to endure with financing training high. The one thing that concerns me the most is that as a banker, is to, to be able to um, allow SMEs to get the right capital structure in place to make them successful. I don't think I have to remind everyone in this room that interest rates are high, prime rates are up to 25%, um, and you know, we go through these cycles over and over again. And the thing that bothers me the most is that we don't seem to learn from the, the experience that we had the last time. The problem, according to observers, is made worse by the limited exposure of SMEs to the possible financing options. You tend to have this very short-term thinking in how you finance your business. And if I was to just leave you with one message, is that um, at the end of the day, if you, you want to survive over the long term, you've got to get the right capital structure in place. Sometimes it's better to own 40% of something than 100% of zero. And that's a choice you have to make. At this year's awards, where Joad Consult and Engineering and Architecture Consulting firm came to, innovation and originality were highlighted as key ingredients in the building of strong businesses. The competition to fear is the competition that looks at their own business every day, looks at what they're doing, where they're doing it, and how they're doing it, and aims to improve every day. That is the competition that you need to fear, and that's the only way you'll stay ahead of the competition. It's to improve your own company all the time.